Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Rip. Got a video from Modern Dating here. He found out his ex-wife used his name and credit to get a new car. I have another story about this, too. Please extra like, down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get that child. It's child time. You telling me Ashley got that car with my name? Uh, yep. Uh, you are the co-signer on it, brother. Uh, I'm just letting you know. How? Yeah. How? How so? I've never been up there. I've never had no... I've never had... How? I just so why... Wait a minute. Somewhere. She used my credit? She used your credit. Yes, sir. Actually, your credit was the one that got her the 2022 GLA 650. So... She got a pretty expensive car. Um, did you not know about this, or I have no clue about none of this, bruh. I don't. I shouldn't have nothing in my. I don't have no Lexus in my name. Uh, apparently, that's your wife. So, is that not your wife? No, that's not my wife. That's my son's mother. No. Imagine being called about missed payments of a car you didn't know. I'll give you guys a story of the opposite. Who you had purchased? Hey, how you doing? Can I speak to uh, D Layer, please? Hey, speaking. How you doing? Speak. Hey, how you doing, man? This is Gavin with uh, Atlanta Luxury Motors. Uh, I'm calling you by asking Nicole. Uh, you co-signed with her on our 2022 um, GLA 250 Mercedes Benz. Wait. Who? Uh, Ashley Nicole is. I got the right. Is this a delay, right? Yes. Okay, so I got. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said co-sign. Yeah, co on a 2022 GLA 250 with uh, Miss Ashley Nicole. Yeah, I know Ashley Nicole. That's that's my son's mother. But wait, wait. Okay, well, I was just letting, I was just calling you. I, I would be just as confused as this gentleman. I'm like, what the fuck is going? Wait, what? A GLA? I don't got no Benz. Let you know. Uh, hold up, bro. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What's your name again? My name is Gavin Cox with uh, Atlanta Luxury Motors. You telling me Ashley got that car with my name? Uh, yep. Uh, you are the co-signer on it, brother. Uh, I'm just letting you know. This is also the other side. How the fuck are they able to get a co-signer without that person being present? That doesn't even make sense. How? Yeah. How? How so? I've never been up there. I've never had no... I've never had... How? That's a good question. How can he co-sign for a purchase he didn't know about? This company has a lot to explain. Correct. I believe he can sue the shit out of this luxury motor sports place. And uh, she agreed to it, so that's how that's how we, you know, this the, the car dealership works, man. Um, but I was just letting you know that her payment was five sixty six a month, and she's three months behind. So I need to collect seventeen hundred dollars, and she's not answering her phone. So they keep calling her until she answers it. It's not his problem at this point. Wait, seventeen hundred dollars for two months. So this is. Like eight hundred and fifty dollars a month. Point. Why are they calling him? Since they were able to get her a car without his acknowledgement, they should keep the same energy when she misses the payment. So why? Wait a minute. Somewhere. She used my credit. She used your credit. Yes, sir. Actually, your credit was the one that got her the twenty twenty two GLA two hundred and fifty. So, um. Did you not know about this, or? I have no clue about none of this, bruh. I don't, I shouldn't have nothing in my, I don't have no Lexus in my name. What do you? Have you checked your credit? No, I don't, no. Folks don't just check their credit every day like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to have a whole damn car on my credit, no. True. I, I happen to be one that's on it, so I have, like, Experian app, the Credit Karma app, and all these CreditWise apps, so as soon as I run anything, I get four or five notifications from five different apps so it's good to get notified by these things guys if you guys didn't know sign up get notified when something happens to your credit i'm just calling to collect 1700 dollars because she financed it through us so i have to call and uh, get that payment from you imagine getting a call that your personal information was used to purchase a new car and there is a missed payment on it it's a challenging situation to deal with what, what company? What, what company is... Oh, oh th this right here is Atlanta Luxury Motors. So it would be what 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 um, what credit, uh, what financial institution did you go through? Uh, we actually went through Westlake. So I'm going to have a Westlake charge. I got a Westlake charge on my damn credit? Yes, sir, you do. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Um, so. How many? How, wait. <clears throat> how many? How long? How, how, how late is she? Uh, she's three months late, so it's three 66 months. a month. You can get your calculator after you too. It's five oh, sixty-six. No, I don't. Months. I don't need no calculator at all. I don't. I shouldn't even have no bill at all. Well said. He didn't agree with any purchase, so why would he be reliable for any bill? I shouldn't even have. I tell you what. Here's the deal. I don't know how you can go about doing this, but I never authorized that. I definitely didn't sign for anything. So if whatever you've got to do, take my name off of that. My name shouldn't be on nobody's car at all. Period. Well, the only way I could take it off is if you pay the seventeen hundred dollars. A bull fucking shit. Seventeen hundred dollars. Seventeen hundred dollars. I'm not paying seventeen hundred dollars. I'm not. I didn't owe seventeen hundred dollars. Well, uh, apparently that's your wife. So, is that not your wife? No, that's not my wife. That's my son's mother. No. Atlanta Luxury Motors is about to be in huge legal problems. Correct. Sounds like Atlanta Luxury Motors has a problem worth one thousand seven hundred dollars. Oh no, they're about to have a problem worth a lot more if this man understands that he can sue the shit out of this fucking company. Sir, you are about to own Atlanta Luxury Motors. <laughs> the car company is at fault. They require you to show up in person and have ID. This was a greedy salesman who didn't care at all. Yep. Totally his fault. My ex co-signed for a car without me being there. He took another female. If it makes you feel better, $566 a month for three months is only $1,698. So you're saving $2. Let's analyze a few parts of that video. Okay, before the analyzing, I have a friend. Uh, she lives in Texas. She used to be married. And when she was married, her mother-in-law lived with her. The mother-in-law used her information to apply for a $5,000 loan. And she had no clue about it until they started getting mails in about like you owing $5,000. And the husband was like, oh, I don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. They ended up not knowing who it is, but they really know who it was. It was the mother. And even more unsavory things happen afterwards, which I'll share later. But yeah. This is not that uncommon for women to take other people's credits and credit cards to be able to apply for things and still get the loan somehow, which I don't understand. There's so many unsavory lenders out there that just want money that they're willing to give these people loans without even ID or the correct signature or the correct person being there. You telling me Ashley got that car with my name? Uh, yeah, uh, you are the co-signer on it, brother. Uh, I'm just letting you know. How? Yeah. How? How so? I've never been up there. I've never had no, I've never had, how? That's a good question they should be able to answer. I don't know what type of process Atlanta Luxury Motors has in place when it comes to granting their customers car loans, but one thing we know for sure, it's not working properly. <laughs> At this point, they probably got themselves a massive legal problem. How can you have a system that allows a person to use someone else's details without their consent? This case will help them. It shouldn't even matter if they're married or not. You still need the other person. To see the flaw in their system as nobody should be allowed to use another person's details without their acknowledgement. Now they will have to prove that he agreed with it. Um, but I was just letting you know that her payment was 566 a month and she's three months behind. So I need to collect $1,700 and she's not answering her phone. So. At this point, this guy shouldn't be worried about this car loan because it's their problem, not his. Atlanta Luxury Motors should have been concerned about their business situation after allowing such thing to Right? The salesman guy should have been like, ah, fuck, we fucked up. We fucked up. We need to fix something instead of just give me the $1,700 and we'll remove your name. Shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. Happen. Instead of trying to get a payment from someone who just got their detail used for something he didn't agree with, they should try to investigate the situation because it was evident that this person doesn't have an obligation with this bill. So why, wait a minute. Somewhere. She used my credit? She used your credit, yes sir. Actually, your credit was the one that got her the 2022 GLA 650. He should relax at this point as his ex-wife and Atlanta Luxury Motors are the two parties that should be concerned about this matter. Both of them have a lot to explain. She shouldn't claim that he is. She about to go to jail 
and luxury motors is about to be owned by this gentleman. Still her husband because they are no longer together. Using this fact alone would invalidate this purchase as the information wasn't correct. And so about my friend in Texas. So she they found out that it was the mother, but they, they just made it so that it was identity theft. So and they canceled it all out. So the mother didn't actually get in trouble for it, nor did my friend because she was able to cancel it out. But it's a $5,000 loan. That's a lot of fucking money. And when we add the fact he didn't agree with it, it makes the situation even worse. But Atlanta Luxury Motors is also to blame because they should have a good process in place to prevent such situation. Sometimes the company has a good system in place to verify customers' information and make sure everything is correct. But if they have a greedy salesman who is focused on his commission, he might overlook certain things to get his money. And this is how companies can get to this type of situation. Yep. I'm just calling to collect $1,700 because she financed it to us. So I have to call and uh, get that payment from you. This is not the best time to call him. They should have done that before putting his name on that paper. Is this the only moment they remember it would be a good idea to call him? Why did yeah, when they need the money that the the, 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 the original person wasn't going to pay? They do the same thing before giving his ex-wife a new car. You don't call when there is a missed payment. Since they didn't feel the need to call him when she was getting a car, they better keep the same energy when she is right? not paying for it. They should keep their business the way it was between them. My name shouldn't be on nobody's car at all, period. Well, the only way I can take it off is if you pay the $1,700. This salesman must be a comedian. You have a man telling you he didn't agree to co-sign for no car purchase, but you still think he should pay for it. At this point, he shouldn't be going back and forth with the salesman as it seems like he doesn't care about the issue. Just take the case to another level. His wife wanted to remove his mother from the front seat, but it didn't go well. She thinks that it belongs to her. What's going on here? Like, why, are you, why is she in the front seat? And I get that that's your mom and everything, but like, you're going to the back, right? No, absolutely not. Why? What are you talking about? I'm your... Wow. If a woman was to disrespect my mother in front of me like that, oh, you best believe. Wife, are you serious right now? Okay, we, gotta, we gotta keep having these type of conversations. Every time, every Drive time off, the mother is always a problem. Always Drive off. Life now, so why are you still here? I'm always gonna be Okay, here. but I'm go to the back fucking seat. If she doesn't respect your mom, she doesn't respect you. Simple. True. His mother needs to respect his wife. She knows better. Wives typically offer the mother the front seat, for comfort and out of respect. Funny. My wife always offers my mom the front seat when she is visiting. Sometimes my mom declines and says she'll sit in the back. It's never a pecking order thing, it's a respect thing from Correct. both women. Wherever we're- Like, the, it's, the respect for elders have gone out the window so much in American culture. Like, she's a mother. I'm not saying that mothers should be praised or anything, but she's older. She's your boyfriend's mother, so she's an elder to you. There's a level of respect that should be kind of there off the bat. Yes, maybe she's an evil person or whatever it is, and you lose respect for her, but there's a certain level of respect you show in front of people, especially in public. We're going, I will unequivocally guarantee you that we're going to all get there at the same time. This is foolishness. All elderly parents sit in the front. The end. Your wife comes first. His mama knows that. Unless the wife offered her the front seat. Nope. Who seats at the front is a debatable matter. I know some guys believe their mother should occupy it, but others... I believe my mother should, but my mother has actually never taken it. Unless she was just me and her. When it was me and her or my ex-wife, my wife would offer it to her all the time which is great thing about my ex-wife, but my mom never took it. My mom likes to be in the back seat anyways. Believe it's their wife's seat. Regardless of who should be at the front, coming this strong on your mother-in-law is a bad move and it can lead to a serious problem in the relationship. There are so many red flags with her behavior. Why are you making all these scenes in public? Mm -hmm. Why are you arguing with your mother-in-law, especially for something so simple as a car seat? 
Her attitude shows a lack of respect and consideration for both of them, the husband and his mother, and I know that a lot of guys wouldn't take it lightly. Hell no. Her behavior could unnecessarily place their relationship in a huge issue that could be avoided. Since she is your mother-in-law and if you respect your husband, that respect should also translate to his mother. If she didn't like what his mother did, there are better ways to talk about it than argue with her in public. She could have waited for another opportunity and talked to her husband about it instead of confronting his mother in front of everyone. Dude, she made a huge scene cussing, making all these gestures and shit. Come on. If she is making all this scene for something like a car seat, how do you think she would react when they are facing a real issue? Mm -hmm. Those are the things he should pay attention to. This is an opportunity his wife could have used to show her husband how much she loves and cares about his mother by offering the front seat. It would show care and respect, which would make him feel better about her. Mm -hmm. She would have won a lot of points with her husband if she had that attitude. No, that's exactly true. My ex-wife won some good points with that. But instead, she decided to unnecessarily compete. Can you imagine how happy would her husband be if she willingly offered the seat to his mother out of care? Hell yeah. Instead of being creative and articulating a good question, she decided to send him a boring question and then got mad because he sent her a boring response. She thinks he wasn't creative enough. I just asked a guy on Hinge how his day was and he said, good, yours, immediate unmatch, immediate unmatch, bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, ask a question, tell me how your day was, tell me something that happened today, I'm bored. Ask more interesting questions next time. Literally, cause I'm not about to carry this conversation on my back. He literally asked you the same question you started with. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same. If you ask the most basic questions, you get the most basic answer. My back genuinely hurts from carrying conversations on all dating apps. Oh, shut the fuck up, women. You're lying whores. You guys are not carrying conversations on your back. Shut up. That's literally how you start a convo. <clears throat> she disqualified him because he is boring. Mind you, she asked him the same question. What else did she want him to say when she asked him something so simple? She could have structured it differently. It would have pushed him to give her a more interesting response. Imagine if she asked him what was the best part of his day. That would have placed him in a position to articulate a more interesting response that would lead to a better flow. But somehow she thought his reply was unacceptable even though she started it. Shoutouts to Modern Dating. Hey, tips to you guys. Sign up for Credit Karma, Credit Wise, and like Experian and stuff. When shit goes through your credit, you will get notified immediately. It's, it's good to have. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.